Here is the world's news in pictures, and this is Pathé Gazette screening it. HMS Rodney, gallant veteran of many campaigns, goes out to bombard the German-held Channel Island of Alderman. Our convoys crossing to Cherbourg might be menaced by enemy guns on the island, so Rodney's job is to silence those guns. These pictures, taken by Pathy Gazette cameraman Jock Gamble aboard an escorting destroyer, show the men taking up action stations. The gun crews are looking forward to having another smack at jelly, as with throbbing engines the huge battleship churns her way forward. Down into the bows, well below the waterline we go, to show you how the great guns are loaded. The German batteries on Alderney are due to receive 75 rounds of those giant one-ton shells, by which time they won't have much nuisance value left. Three days before the present action, the Rodney set out for her target, but she was turned back because visibility was so good that the German anti-aircraft guns on the island might have caused trouble to the RAF spotter planes. Now she is returning to the attack, carrying a load of destruction. In a second or two you will have a chance of seeing the actual loading of the guns take place. The breach is opened, the cage ascends and in goes the shell. The gun crews are ready, the target has come within range and the signal is given to fire. And just ahead is the Cherbourg Peninsula. Rodney's 16-inch guns are firing right over it to the German-held island about 17 miles away. The first shot landed 300 yards from the target. After that, the shells dropped just where they were needed. There won't be much more trouble from the German guns on Alderney. <laughs> 